Stefano Tsitsipas was in the press conference and asked his initial thoughts on the match. The first response to the number three player in the world was, I've never seen someone hit the ball so hard. That's a good forehand from Garauche. So revolutionary now, the players can play deep into the 30. Great point there for Alcaraz. That's a big strike down the line. And like that, the 18-year-old flashing out to a double break start here. And that is a winner. That's a great return deep in the backhand corner of Alcaraz to set up the forehand inside-out winner from Goyovchik. He's going to have to continue to look to take time away. can't get it. A wonderful payday. And the potential for even more. Ranked 39 in 2018. So he definitely wants to get back into that top 50, top 100. opening set trying to close this opening set it's a barrage of forehands there it's been 50% on second serves. Both not good. Set. Both players with negative tally. Well, he needs to use more variety. You know, in that first serve, he really tries to power it in there, but Goyovchik, he enjoys absorbing pace. He's so good at it. As we see there, that forehand inside in winner. A rocket off the backhand of Alcaraz and changes direction so easily. Well, for the first time in his deepest Grand Slam run ever, 
Peter Goyovchik Seven has won five. the first set. He's trailed in his other three match wins so far this week in New York. Set to but miss. he's got the one set to none lead. And then really showing a lot of positivity that first point. In the main draw, Alcaraz trailing for the first time. How is that tactical awareness from the 18-year-old? On that drop volley, but the defensive showcase Really impressive. And that's perfect disguise. He's got a chance to get some opening break opportunity. Wandu's the first. 13. There. Taking the ball so early, putting Alcaraz in the defense. Now, and and the break party continues. Alcaraz strikes first here in set two. Fourth round showcase in men's singles at the U.S. Open. from the yoke kick. 15. Picking up some shoelace ground strokes and gets it low, but Goyovchik with that low forehand volley does a great job of keeping the racket out in front. No <laughs> break that time. The backhand delivers. Tennis future here in the present. That's a smart shot selection from Alcaraz. Make Goyovchik hit up on the ball, and that sets up that big forehand cross court. And a little extra pass on the forehand, and a fist pump to boot. Up a double break. Every game, it seems, has been an adventure for the most part, serving wise. That's great court sense from Alcaraz. And then quickly getting up to this backhand pass down the line. Great play from Goyovchik, starting with that deep, penetrating return of serve. Nice forehand approach inside out, quickly getting up to it and taking time away from Alcaraz. 13 in this set alone against just three winners. And now, an exquisite lob from the teenager. And set points. Yeah. We've seen it all in the last couple of games with 18 year old Carlos Alcaraz. The touch and the drop shot, and the lob, and the straight fire.
It's one set apiece. On Six Grand to one. Goyocha couldn't even move about two feet away from him, but it was just hit so big that he couldn't react. What a response from Alcaraz. He's got the weapons and the personality, too. <laughs> Alcaraz doing a great job of getting up to that ball quickly and putting it away. That forehand cross court, the depth and pace really setting up that short ball. You can see as he gets up in the air and drives through that ball cross court for the winner. What fight in that point from both. I mean, how was that defensive display from Alcaraz? And on the full stretch, Alcaraz able to dig it out and get the air from Goyokchik. But how many times does Goyokchik have to say to himself, I need to win this point? says, hold on, I got the drop shot working too. 30 to go. All four times he was successful in that opening set win. <laughs> and now a double from Alcaraz. Off a break. That's a great combination there from Goyokchik. opportunity here of the set. Shot 
from the yoke kick. Perfectly placed. 15 only. Well into the doubles alley, finding that down the line winner off the backhand wing. Really extends through contact. And some scuffling moments. Big point at 30 all. Turn from Alcaraz on that huge serve just to get back in that point. 14. Really quick to take that early. He's the 32 year old. That's a good feel at the net there from Alcaraz. Hasn't approached the net much in this match, but when he does, he's been very effective. At a break point for the German. He's converted six. Dude. To the baseline. Juice. Couldn't do much with it. So many good deep returns in this match, setting up short putaways, and that was a perfect example of that there. Last 10 to 12 days. Now if you count the qualifying, he's 15, played 15, 21 15. sets of tennis. The weather has been in his favor this week. It wasn't in his favor last week. It was brutal here during qualifying. But it's a good. 15 degrees cooler Fahrenheit 30, and much 40. less humid. Try to avoid giving the break right back. To that backhand cross court, which set up that nice death touch with that backhand. What a response. And again, aided by a couple of key doubles from the opposition. One superior play at the net and couldn't get the second. To make him come up with the volley. It's a good dipping passing shot to set up this pass right at the chest of Alcaraz. Well, Alcaraz doing a great job there. Quickly gets up to the net to knock off this forehand volley. Got us. 
How about that? Flick of the wrist to Near seal the deal. been dropped a lot can drop back yeah that's good court sense recognizing how deep in the court Alcarez is and that's great disguise just flipping the racket over to hit that drop shot winner and return to sender express good job of getting that full weight transfer into the forehand Unable to do anything with it. Third he was maybe a fraction inside the baseline when it hit the net. I mean, he, <laughs> three feet behind the baseline, sprints all the way up to the net. Phenomenal plus one there on the serve. Good response. Dude. And the German delivers again. Boy, he's come up with the goods every time he's needed. Jovchik respond after playing 21 sets and playing so physical in these four sets. That's a good response there, taking that second serve early. German to make it 30 all. We will check. Turned pro in 2006. Won it all with Roland Garros and made the final here in New York. A little extra oomph for Gorovchik. Yeah, part of this, he's feeling it physically. He really has increased the MPA. With more aggressiveness here. Potentially looking for some shorter points. It's worked to his advantage now. drop shot another drop shot but Alcaraz all over it and the chance for another break that's just a bailout from Goyo Second serve Dude. worked well enough again. Still good enough to make the magic happen. His cross court shots have been so effective, especially on the inside out. A 
That's a smart play. You want to continue to open up the court. One of them is going to follow suit and get to the round of eight here in New York City. He's aware now that his foe just had a physio train. He's got 10 doubles in the match. Six of them have been in this set. And Alcaraz just lasers that back in from 10 feet behind the baseline. So Jokic does a good job of trying to get in, but diving through that backhand pass. Because you change your tactics, you're worried about what they're doing. Forty. But Goyochik obviously hampered by that leg, and Alcaraz just has to continue to stay in the present, focus on his game plan, make Goyochik move. Very smart of Dojovic to go to that drop shot, make him. Oh. And a double oh. fault to make it a double you know, break lead for Carlos Alcaraz here in the fifth. With that schedule closing in on the date in the quarters here in New York. The scramble slice one game away. So wonderfully in the main draw with three tough wins. And three more here in the main draw, maybe running out of steam. But you get the sense from the look on Juan Carlos Ferrero that he's like, this is happening now? Yeah, he's enjoying it. Battling on to the quarterfinal. Youngest Grand Slam men's singles quarterfinalist since Michael Chang.